We are back with some more Alan Wake. Um, I decided to play something a little bit different. By different, I mean something I've had on my channel for a while, but I stopped playing for... I don't remember why, but I wanted to come back to it, see if I can beat it in a relatively nice fashion. This is going to be alongside plenty of other games that I'm playing, just kind of going with what I want to feel, trying to get back into the grips of YouTube. Um, for some reason, it, I don't have a very far skate, same, uh, words, a save game, so we're just going to go back to where I was a long time ago, I guess, in the boss stage. So let us continue. A lot of recording setup and everything is a lot different than it was before, as you can probably see by the face cam and whatnot if you're going through all the videos. But, hi there. I just want to just, I guess, record and have fun and everything. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. That's a lot of people right there. No, him. Get taken. Ah. Oh, what? I don't. Sure. <laughs> okay. Do what you must. Please go away. Oh, that's bad. Get taken, good sir. I don't want none of your merchandise. Hey there, buddy boo. Ah, uh, this is bad. Oh, I'm out of ammo, too. Uh, let's get a quick reload. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Bright light, focus power. This reminds me of that Markiplier video where he's checking out the batteries. He's like, Come on. And he's like, I didn't know bad or batteries. Flashlights could do this. Can I shoot them or something when that happens? Every time I hear that, I think that like, I'm something's wrong with my USBs because I have the stupid Alan Wake sound not soundtrack, but sound. I don't know. Sound effects, I guess. Uh, that's bad. I thought I dodged, but okay. And so it's attached to my USB, um, like notifications, something plugged in that battery noise and it gets me every time. A lot of the things in this game are going to get me every time because I use the sound effects for my computer. Or, uh... Anyways, this guy's a pain in the butt. He won't die. I can use my shot that I just got or not. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Sure. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything here that I need to pick up. I'm probably not going to 100% complete this as much as I wanted to when I was actually playing this uh, a year ago now. Man, it's been that long. I mean, now I got the world, not the worlds, but like a really great computer. A lot better than the one I previously had. It's running so much better. I wish this had RTX. Ooh, a canister. Thermos. Canister. Anyways. Just do a quick once over. Everything's looking fine and dandy. So yeah, I don't see much of anything else I need to pick up. Where do I go from here? Ah, the... I don't know what to call this. Can I not? Hello? Um, good sir. Is, do I have to puzzle this? Is this what's happening? Uh, I can't even get in there. So that's that taken care of. Now, what the... Ah, this thing. Let's see what I can do. Did I check back here for any secrets and goodies? I don't think I did. No, I think I did. So something I gotta do with this generator, I would assume. Or these. Where's the sensitivity in this game? I can't. Start it. It's a woodcutter. Never mind. That's not what I need. I have to. I. Mm, I don't remember, man. It's been so long. Do I climb up this, maybe? Can you climb? Good, sir. Fellow Samaritan. Okay. Guess not. Uh, excuse me. I have to do something in order to. Crash the gate, I thought. Is this swinging? Or is it just loading in textures? I don't know if I was swinging. I think it's just loading in textures. There's a noose. Uh, I think I'm just a big dum dum and I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. I could have sworn there was a melee. I swear. It wasn't there. You all saw this. It w the option was not there. What happened? 
Okay, then. It's gonna be that way, huh, game? Sure. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Who's Alice? Alice is the wife, not the child. We don't have After a child. The sanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Seven whole days. Can I crush this? Do I not have a melee? Every game has melee. How do you hurt? It's got a. Why is Triangle not pick up? Or. Ah! Oh, I had to get inside schemes. the gas station to find a phone to call for help. I think I have to go into the garage first, don't I? The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Absolutely. Uh, 68th annual deer fest. Everything that you get from a nice thing that I used to do at school. Phantasmagoria evenings. Okay. Sure. Anything else of use? Wait, where's the phone again? There it is. I'm just blind. Why can't I sprint inside? Hello, I'm lost. Help me. This is about where Maple I left off. Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Coffee. In my own home. I know where the coffee maker is. It's in the kitchen to the left of the sink. Or in this case, to the right of the sink. Coffee's on. Great. 
Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. It was meant for me. I think I said this last time too. The coffee's meant for me, not for you. Get your own dang coffee. This is my coffee. It's mine. Anyways, still can't oh, sprint. Hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Who was that? And Sure. Who is that? That's not me. Examine the cover mock-ups. But that wasn't me. That was some other man. He was. 3D. And texture. Manuscript pages. Examine. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! I look old. Like an old man. What happened? Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Hi, okay. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. That, like, instant know, tone stupid, shift. But it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. And Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Where's my flashlight? More than a flash. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving. Anyways, Stucky's missing. Stucky. The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. But thank you. That was sure, Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um oh, other things these days. She's a smart lady. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. 
Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, Mr. you're gonna meet Ray, me in Elderwood you National anything? Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let You're welcome, buddy. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Got it. Now, if I remember correctly, you gotta do something oh. stupid right here. Kick this down with the force of a thousand lions. And then you enter in here and then you go... Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh, there. <laughs> Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Did I accidentally skip that somehow? It wasn't doing a pressing B apparently skips it or something. Um, okay. I guess that was interesting. Okie <laughs> dokie. Excuse, excuse me, Pensfos, thank you. Yes, goodbye. Very good, sir. Orion is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I don't think that's how stories work. What happens if I switch this off? Okay! Fancy meeting you here, buddy. I'll leave that on just in case. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers hey, buddy. might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Oh, the woman. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. 
I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. The facial animations in this game are just so goofy. Uh, hello? Nope. Housekeeping? Nope. Uh, things here? Seriously, oh, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Uh, a little bit, yes. I own this in love for you. Hey, Thermos. Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, uh, wait here. you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Wait there, Barry. Be easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? Ah! It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Good thing, buddy. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You like how it just continues. The cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez. Wait here. Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. <laughs> I just love how you just cut him off like that. There you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Sure. Now, Barry, what if were you, you saying? If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. That's far. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bullet- Shut up. <laughs> he never stops talking. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> What I do think I'm gonna have to end this episode. It's getting kind of late for me to have to actually edit this how I want to and everything like that. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Leave a comment down below telling me if you want me to continue this. I probably will, just depending on I don't know everything else. But until next time, I hope you all stay awesome and goodbye. <laughs>